Welcome to Keeper of the Mountain. You know, it's just one of those days on the mountain when it's raining and it's the day's not much good for anything else, so I'm stuck inside in the little micro mansion and I'm cruising Facebook and I got an idea. The idea is a new series called I Seen It on Facebook. I came across something on Facebook that never occurred to me. I had no idea. And so I'm going to try it and film it and see if it works. Sounds kind of dangerous, but it's it's really not. And what this one is here, I'll show you. The idea is you take a can of condensed sweetened milk here, stuff right here, and you are supposed to be able to stick it in a crock pot for three hours, and when you open it, it's caramel. Now that was kind of surprising to me. It shouldn't have been, but you know, I just kind of assumed that there was like a caramel nut or something around somewhere that you would, you know, they extract the caramel from. But then I'm familiar with the term of caramelized sugar, so it's sweetened condensed milk. And I, and I have a theory. My theory is is that the heat over the three hours caramelizes the sugar and the milk together, and that's what how you end up with caramel. So let's see if it works. I mean, hey, it's on Facebook. It's got to work, right? It's like I saw it on the, on the internet. It must be true. So here's the can. I'm going to stick it right there in the middle of the uh, of the crock pot and then I'm going to take water and you take and add water until it's full okay there I have it full of water Car the the condensed milk as you can see is completely buried under there we'll put the lid on it and let's turn it on low now we set the timer for three hours and see what happens okay it's been three hours now see what's happened here now well, let's see the wrapper came off and we have a can here that is completely intact a little bit puffy on each end so I don't want to open it right now I mean check that out see how the ends a little puffy it's nice and hot so the instructions say to let it cool in the fridge so in the fridge it goes. We'll pull it out of the fridge here in a bit. When it cools down, whew, that's hot. And we'll see what's in the can. All right, well, it's been cooling its jets in the fridge, fridge for a while, so it's time to open it. I don't know what's in there. So let's see. Well, it doesn't look like caramel might be partially caramelized. Let me taste it. Wow, it tastes like caramel. That's yummy. That's pretty cool. It's like not artificially colored. But it definitely tastes like caramel. Wow, that's good. I wonder if I'd have left it in there a little longer if it would have turned a darker color and then a little stiffer. I'm going to have to give it a shot. I got another can, so I'm going to have to try another can. This is yummy. wonder if the dog likes it. shouldn't hurt the dog. It's just sugar and milk. Miss Sophie, do you like that? Oh, yeah. It's got the approval of Miss Sophie. Is that yummy, huh? Is that yummy? Can hold anything but your liquor, huh? Here we go. Let's see if we can get this to flash over into caramelization. Ooh, it's starting to turn already. Look at that. It's already turning brown. Right before our very eyes, it's turning golden, brown, caramel colored. Check out that color. That looks like caramel. I'm saying this worked. I think what I needed to do in this experiment that I did wrong is that I put, the, I filled the crock pot full of cold water and I started the time right away. I think if I had waited till the water was hot to start the three hours, it would have caramelized in the can like it's supposed to. 